This is another favourite poem of mine. Um, it's called Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf, and it was written by Roald Dahl. I'm on my Kindle again, um, but I have on here the book is the nation's favourite comic poems, which was a book that was in my house when I was little, and I just used to love it. I love reading poems because of the way that your voice kind of bounces along when you're reading, so if you've not done a lot of it, this is a great opportunity to read some poems aloud. Okay, here we go. Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. As soon as Wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid grin, and Wolfie said, May I come in? Poor Grandmama was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried. And she was absolutely right. He ate her up in one big bite. But Grandmama was small and tough, and Wolfie wailed, That's not enough! I haven't yet begun to feel that I have had a decent meal. He ran around the kitchen yelping, I've got to have another helping! Then added, with a frightful leer, I'm therefore going to wait right here till Little Miss Red Riding Hood comes home from walking in the wood. He quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course, he hadn't eaten those. He dressed himself in coat and hat. He put on shoes. And after that, he even brushed and curled his hair and sat himself in Grandma's chair. In came the little girl in red. She stopped and stared. And then she said, What great big ears you have, Grandma! Oh, the better to hear you with, the wolf replied. What great big eyes you have, Grandma! said Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, the better to see you with, the wolf replied. He sat there watching her and smiled. He thought, I'm going to eat this child. Compared with her or Grandmama, she is going to taste like caviar. Then Little Riding Hood said, But Grandma, what a lovely great big furry coat you have on. That's wrong, cried Wolf. Have you forgot to tell me what big teeth I've got? Oh well, no matter what you say, I'm going to eat you anyway. The small girl smiles. One eyelid flickers. She whips a pistol from her knickers. She aims it at the creature's head and bang, 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 she shoots him dead. A few weeks later, in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood. But what a change, no cloak of red, no silly hood upon her head. She said, hello, and please do note my lovely furry wolf-skin coat. <laughs>